Hey everybody, um, don't worry, Debbie's coming. Um, just want to say something real quick before we start the video. Um, at the end of the reaction, stick around because um, we got some really cool gifts. I got some cool birthday gifts from you guys and we do show them to you at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around for that. I will explain the scarf first, I promise. Um, but stick around and um, check this out after the reaction. Hey! Hey, hi! Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Welcome to the Natasha <laughs> and Debbie show. <laughs> I, I miss you guys. I feel like we haven't seen you in a while because we pre-recorded the last two prior to just the birthday. I know you're sick of hearing the birthday. Trust me, I am too. The last video, you hear me mention the birthday. <laughs> I got my first Union flag in a wearable form. Yes, you have. Which, it came from Colin. A Colin Barley, who is, as you guys know, helped me co-wrote the song for Debbie for our anniversary. And I, I told that little butthead <laughs> not to send me anything, because I knew he was up to something. And I didn't think he was going to, but he did. He sent me this. I'm going to play with this little video. But, um, yeah, so kind of love it, kind of awesome, kinda pretty so... surprise for you. Yeah, it was pretty awesome, so I just had to wear it for the video. Another surprise for you. I've been but, sneaking around over the weekend since you got your scarf, taking photos of you wearing said scarf. What are you talking the about? The entire weekend. No, you haven't. Oh, but I have. I know you took that one and sent it to Colin. Well, I took a few more, and you're going to... Put them in here. Wait, you're joking. No. You did not. Oh, I did. Wait, you did because I was with you all weekend. I will show you all I was time. with her all weekend. She's so full of crap. Look. What? Right here? Daddy. <laughs> you're brushing your teeth. Oh, my God. While I was brushing my teeth. Yes, while you're brushing your teeth. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, this me, on. Is this me napping with Tyson? <laughs> I have one with you napping with Tyson. What is happening? In now, I have another one. You're standing in the kitchen on the phone. Don't even notice me standing right next to you. Snap the picture. Yeah, I was on the phone. Right, there. right here. You're standing yes. in the kitchen. Gotcha. You got a hoodie on and a scarf in the house. Yeah. She's obsessed, people. You send her something wearable, she's going to wear it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> we have a comedian. <laughs> a little sneaky. <laughs> but you know what? I have no shame. In my scarf wearing game. You shouldn't. I know. good on you. Let's see how many other scarves you get. Well, I'm good on scarves. <laughs> <laughs> I just want an entire matching Flag. outfit. Oh. Yeah, she was looking at joggers over the weekend. I was looking at joggers. I would like some some Welsh joggers with a Scottish hoodie. <laughs> Men's size small. <laughs> um, and a, a, a hat, toboggany kind of hat thing or earmuff things, you know, with like the Irish flag, oh. and then I want, uh, I'm just, I want a whole tracksuit. Goodness, what are we learning today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys have probably stopped watching this video at this point, but um, hopefully you have not. Today we're going to learn something that actually I looked up and no other reactor for Better Than Next Door show has done this topic. Interesting. Yes, it is. <laughs> I feel like I... Sitting up straighter. Um, we are going to learn about British currency. It's very confusing to us. We, we've been reading a lot of different books, and some of them we set in England or, or even mm -hmm. someplace in the UK. And we now, like, since we've been doing these videos, we've learned a lot of terms we would never have known prior. But we don't understand the currency. We know nothing about your currency. What is a pound? Exactly. What's a quid? I don't know. I've heard Brian May talking in interviews saying, oh, we got paid however many quid for this this gig we did. Mm -hmm. And then he'll go off about this many pounds. And I'm like, well, which one's which? And then I know he, when he plays the guitar, he doesn't use a guitar pick. He uses a sixpence. What does that mean? We don't know. To help us with our UK education, we are going to learn about it. So learn with us. I'm sure you don't need to. But <laughs> correct anything that may be wrong. We just found a video um, that we sent to our YouTube advisor and asked if it was good, and it was told. We were told it's going to be very educational. So. 
Hi, I'm Jill at English, Hi, Jill. and today's lesson uh, we're looking at British money, um, the UK currency. Okay, and we're we're going to be looking at the present day currency, the notes and coins, and then in the second part of the lesson we'll be looking at the older currency, which we had awesome. um, Good some time in the past, which is a bit different. Okay, so just looking um, briefly at the present day, um, I'll be showing you in a minute some actual notes and coins. So Good. these are the main numbers of notes and coins, the pounds and the pennies. I'm already okay. confused. Pennies. And pennies. just to explain that penny is the singular and there are two plural versions, what? pennies and pence. So what? you can talk about 20 pence, no. 50 wait, wait, pence, wait. or 50. Is it really that simple? <laughs> no, the, the sound came out of my mouth. <laughs> wait, hold on. A pence is a penny? This whole time it's a penny? Ask me more than that. I mean, Brian uses a sixpence. That's diff obviously that's six cents then, I guess. But wait, a pence and a penny it's are the same coin, thing? But it's one coin. She just said it's the plural. Pennies, no? pence. That's what this means the whole time? Are you serious? It's Are crazy. you serious? <laughs> Apparently. Well, and a I... Penny? Yes. A penny. Okay. What? A penny of pence. Okay. Mind blown. blown. Mind blown. Crazy. Oh, I get We're a minute into this video and I'm just like, are you joking? <laughs> and plus, she paused the video for the second time. Mm. <laughs> All right, hold on, I'm gonna rewind that five seconds. I need to hear All right, the, mm -hmm. a pence and a penny. So you can talk about 20 pence, 50 pence, or 50 pennies. Most people say pence when they're giving the, the figure 10 pence, five. Five pence, two pence. So the coins. One. But hold on. Or Where is the pick. six pence? Maybe it's like a nickel. It's six. A nickel's five. Well, maybe they have one for six. No, but she's got up the coins. Five pence, two pence, one pence, ten pence, twenty pence, fifty pence. Well, maybe it's in the old time. We shall find out. I'm just still mad. Why did no one tell us that a penny and a pence are the same thing? Okay. And do you call it a penny ever? I doubt it. Let's keep going. Five pence, two pence, and then obviously one penny or one P. Sometimes people just say um, P, just the letter P, 50P, okay. 20P. We don't say so that. We use that as well. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the actual notes and coins. Let's. Okay, so here are some examples of uh, the notes and the okay. coins. There are different And starting at the top, we don't have a £50 note, unfortunately, but here is a £20 note in a nice mauve colour. They all have the Queen's head on one side, Queen Elizabeth II. I've seen them. On the other side, there's Not a portrait that. of a famous person who's made some big contribution to... Uh, the national life. Uh, so we've got here Adam Smith, the economist, okay. going back to the 18th century. Well, in the 18th okay, century, so that's a British culture. Note. Next one, a £10 note. Again, the Queen's head. Now there's a slang term for the £10 note, okay. which is a tenner. T-E-N-N-E-R, tenner. Okay, so turning this one over, tenor. we have Charles Darwin, the scientist. Really? Okay. okay. Surprising. Uh, 19th century. And I don't know moving why. Moving on to the five pound note, and the slang term for this is a fiver, F I V E R, fiver. Fiver. And there's the queen again, and on the back we have a woman this time, mm. token woman, um, Elizabeth Fry, who was a prison reformer in the okay. early 19th century. Okay. Okay, so that's a fiver. Okay. Hold up, because I have a then, question at this oh. point already. Is that it? 20 is the highest it goes? She said 50. I thought she, she said they didn't have, have a 50. She didn't have one with her. 
Okay, but is that it then? 50 is it? Because like, I think the highest bill we have is 100. There used to be higher, but they've uh, changed them. I think there's a thousand dollar bill. I don't think we, do we? I don't know. I have no clue. Never had that kind of money on me. I know. <laughs> but I'm just curious because if there's not a hundred, that seems, I mean, for us, it's, you know, we don't always carry around cash anymore, but, no. you know, it'd be a lot more complicated to have to use just smaller mm -hmm. notes. It's really notes. interesting how the actual bills are different sizes. Where ours are all the same size. Yeah, I know. That's the thing that people... People always ask us, too, in the comments when that's been brought up about our bills. You know, what do people that are um, visually impaired do? And, in fact, the government does provide tech, tech devices that are free to help them decipher mm -hmm. and differentiate between those. So, if anyone's wondering, that is not an issue. That is something that's taken care of. Right. But, um, okay. Let's get back to it. This is all very interesting. Check out these coins. So, that's a fiver. Okay, and then, oh, moving down to here, this is, there is a two pound coin that's bigger than this one, but the same color, two pound coin. Mm -hmm. This is a one pound coin, and the slang term for that is a quid, Q-U-I-D, okay. One pound oh, what, is a quid. Wait, what? Half so a quid pound. and a pound are the same? I guess one pound is a quid. They're not different? Apparently not. I thought they were different types of money. I did too. I thought they were like, one was like, I don't know what I thought. What did I think? You know, this has just been a giant question mark in my brain. Mm -hmm. I don't, I didn't have a thought. It was just, huh? Yeah. I did a quid and a okay. pound are the same. Yeah. So a pound is like our dollar. Like, like, like a dollar. Mm -hmm. And a quid is, did you say that was a slang word for it? Or also known as? What did you say? slang word. Well, we <laughs> I guess like a dollar and a buck. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, and we like, we don't really have. I'm just really. <laughs> it's interesting. This, this is easier than I thought it would be, but also, boom, right. totally shocked. <laughs> Who Definitely. knew? You guys did. <laughs> Obviously, they did. We didn't. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Piece then... of scurf. Half of a pound is the 50, 50 pence piece. And this has this distinctive edge, little flat edges to it. Okay. And on the back, this is the back of the coin, Britannia, the sort of female figure who represents Britain, Britannia. Okay. And so that's 50p. Moving on to the 20p piece. Okay, the queen's head on the front and another design on the back. That also has little flat edges. Hmm. Right, uh, we don't have a 10p, um, but that's slightly bigger than these 5ps and has a circular edge. So these are 5ps, uh, a 2 pence piece or a 2p. Where's the 6? And finally, 1p. One pence or one penny. There used to be a half half penny, but they they were taken out of the currency okay. a few years ago because Where's they were the six? So worthless, really. Okay, so that's the current um, currency, and let's just go back now and have a look at a few more slang terms uh, for money. So okay, so we've just looked at the slang terms for the notes, tenor, tenor fiver, fiver, and quid. And then there are a few other terms, ready money or readies. That's, okay. you know, cash. Cash is another useful term. It's not a slang term, but um, people say they would like to be paid in cash or do you have the cash? So this is the ready money, okay. the readies, rather than paying by credit card or debit card or check. Okay. Folding stuff? Uh, folding stuff. That's the paper <laughs> notes. It folds up. So it's called it, the folding works. stuff. Hmm. Um, there are two terms to do with food, bread and dough. The dough yep. is what you put in the oven and the bread is what you take out. And we have that here. Same yeah. exact thing. Yeah. Bread and dough. We also have cheddar. Give me the cheddar. Some people say that. No one really says it, but it's like in old, older movies. Nobody really says bread or dough here either. Like that's an older, yeah. like 30 years ago, 40 years ago type term. Give me, give me a bread. 
I'm not good action. It's like, a, go watch any Mafia movie. You know, <laughs> where's the deal, man? Yep. Some, you know, but Cheddar. Is there any more? Uh, I don't know where Cheddar comes uh, from. I think so. I had no idea you, that was the same over there, too, with breaded dough. That surprises me. But folding stuff. Yeah. I'm going to start asking people for folding stuff. And they're going to start giving me, stuff. like, chairs or something. <laughs> it's more than the, uh... Queenie stuff. Yeah, and then she's about to say words that I don't understand where we're going with this. Bread and dough. Um, that's also a word for money. Um, dosh, loot, lolly. They're all sort of quite comical, humorous terms for, for money as well. Okay. We have loot. Okay, so but not now the other we'll two. move on to look at the older currency. Okay. Okay, so now let's have a look at the older currency before 1971. And the reason I'm showing you this, you may be wondering, is because if you're reading old books, old novels like mm -hmm. by Charles Dickens and novelists like that, Jane Austen, some of these coins that we no longer use might be mentioned, like the shilling in particular. Oh. Yes. The shilling. Oh, that's maybe old. Maybe half crown, a florin, mm -hmm. uh, the guinea. So um, I'll just run quickly through these and uh, explain that we had to have this decimalization because we were joining the European community and it, we needed to have a simpler currency because all the other European countries had a currency based on I'm more confused now. and 100. <laughs> so at, at this time, before 1971, we had 240 pennies in a pound, not 100 pennies. Okay. We had a shilling Weird. which came between the penny and the pound. So there were 12 pennies in a shilling and 20 shillings in a pound. Okay. Pause. We had a... What? You're mathematical. Uh, no, I'm not, not that mathematical. So, yeah. So there used to be 240 pennies in a pound. Mm -hmm. And 12 pennies. <coughs> is a shilling. Is a shilling. And there's 20 shillings in a pound. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute for my brain to do something that it doesn't normally do. Maths. 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 Yeah, maths it. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one topic of life I hate is numbers and math. Um, however, this is fascinating to me. <laughs> I'm also <laughs> totally confused. What's well, getting old stuff hanging around? I love this lady though because she's incredibly like to the point. But she needs to talk to me more like I'm two years of age. I'm trying to remember which way is the bad way. Two. <laughs> I need to be spoke to like I'm two on this. In the comments section, please help me. <laughs> be nice. We're learning. Yes, we are learning. Be trying nice. to learn. It's not something that's, this is not something that's overly talked about in America. And it's not no. really even mentioned that often. No. Um, and. Even Except in, in old books. I mean, we were reading that uh, <coughs> green book, and I remember that talking about <coughs> shillings. Right. And we were like, yeah, I don't know what that means. And I had no idea what shilling was. I still want to know where's Brian's sixpence, because they haven't mentioned that. He plays with one, and I know it's a coin, and I've seen it. A but... single coin. Yes, so that's confusing. Worth six. <laughs> All right. 20 shillings and a pound. What's the sign for quid? Did I miss that? Let's go back Wait, and look. A pence. No, no, no. The symbol, though. It was a symbol, I thought. I don't recall. Wait, a quid and pence were the same? I think so. Oh, no. Maybe a pound. I don't know. We have to go don't back remember. and rewatch this video when we're done. Sorry. Oh, we're not good at remembering things. We're old now. We're both now old. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm just kidding. Welcome a coin called a half crown, which I'll be showing you in a minute, <coughs> which was worth two shillings <coughs> and sixpence. So that's two and a half shillings. Uh, a florin coin worth two shillings. This line here is how the shilling was shown, like that. We had a ten shilling note, mm -hmm. so that was worth half a pound. And also we had a one pound note, whereas now we have a one pound coin. Yeah. Um, and the smaller coins, sixpence, three pence, one Six penny. Pence. 
a half penny. Oh, they're gone. And long before this, this was no longer used in the 70s, but a, a quarter of a penny called a, a farthing. And I'll be showing you one of those. Well, hold up. There was also a guinea. If six pence is no longer there, then Brian made us have to go buy a crap ton of six pence coins and just like, he still uses them. them. Yeah, but after a while, you gotta lose like having stuff. a jar of nickels. Yeah, but I don't know, like, cause like, I know you've never played guitar and I've only dabbled in it, but you, you lose your picks, you know, when you're playing, especially in a concert, you know, you drop it, you lose it, whatever. So, oh, oh man. How many pennies do we have upstairs? Too many. In a jar. I need to go to the bank. So maybe he just collected a whole bunch of stuff. He'd have to. If not, we need to start like a foundation for Brian. And obviously he knew the money was going to be changing. Well, yeah, but this is even before stuff. Queen became famous, really even Queen. So let's keep going. This is crazy. Hold a, a farthing and I'll be showing you heard that word. There was also a <laughs> guinea. This word would come up if you're reading old books which was worth one pound plus one shilling, i.e. Okay. 21 shillings. And okay. that was quite an elite kind of coin that was for sort of expensive dress shops and yeah. for men's suits. They were priced in guineas rather than pounds. And it just meant the shop got more money from people. So yeah. it was a bit of a Crafty. trick, really. Crafty. Okay, so let's have a look then at the actual coins. Okay, so just to show you what some of these coins look like, this is the half crown, two shillings and sixpence. This is the florin, worth two shillings. Um, this is the shilling, that's the shilling, worth okay, now I know. 12 pennies. This is the sixpence, six pennies, half a shilling. I want one. These, um, <laughs> these are three worth three pennies each. If anybody would like to send me a sixpence, that would be awesome. I don't know if that's legal. I don't know. But I would love one just because of the fact that that's what Brian May uses to play guitar. You guys right. know I'm a queen fan. But I would love to have one and keep it in like a little case. That'd be so cool. That would be awesome. I'm just throwing that out there. No one has to send us anything. Please don't think that. But I'm just throwing it out there. That would be cool. Beach. And this was the more recent one. This was a much older one, little silver three penny pieces. Hmm. Okay. These are the penny, which is quite big. Whoa, did you expect that? This is the halfpenny, half penny. And this is the farthing, worth a quarter of a penny. What would you use that for? Okay. So I huh. hope you found that um, interesting, a little yeah. historical information that might be useful yes. for you if you're reading older literature and just to mention <coughs> the present currency as i said is the pound we don't belong although we're part of europe the european union we don't mm. have the euro <laughs> currency okay. most of the other european countries do but in the okay. uk we're not part of the euro currency and i think most people this video is like five to, years old we want but they edited it pound currency so um hmm. let's hope we do <laughs> so i hope that's been interesting and Very much. if you'd like to do the quiz on oh, this no. topic please no go to the website no. yeah, we're gonna head <laughs> exit out this video she never said anything about a quiz nope no one heard that <laughs> i heard that nothing you heard nothing um well, I am just absolutely shocked at this point because I'm like, I feel stupid for not knowing that. Like, did I miss this someplace? They didn't teach us about British currency in school, did they? No. Oh, not thanks, my school. Um, I hope you guys found this to be interesting because we sure did. Very much. I mean, it may be something you wouldn't think that we would, wouldn't or wouldn't know and maybe we shouldn't know it. <laughs> but I actually know the other people that don't know this information too. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I can't stop my signal. Sorry. What? You're, you're just adorable. <laughs> That's her way of saying, oh, Lord, you're annoying me. <laughs> you're embarrassing me. I love you. Um, but no, I, I found this to be really shocking because the simple things we didn't know, like, I just feel like we weren't privy to this information. And why? Why was this withheld from us? <laughs> I'm glad. No, yeah. I mean, it was definitely interesting. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, it's good to know. 
I, I, I'm happy to to finally understand a lot of it. I feel like we'll have to come back and look at this, though. Um, it's just little things, you know, about your own country. You, you just don't think that other people may or may not know. Right. You know, like, um, money. And if we get to ever come over, which we're hoping and planning on doing mm-hmm. at some point, we kind of need to know these things. We're going to need to know a little we're bit We're going to need to understand. Way. Hey, if somebody asked me for a quid... I can remember that that's something that I should remember right now. <laughs> um, wait, wasn't that a pound? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. It was like five minutes ago. Yeah, because we said a dollar and a buck, you use that. You use that. So quid and a, and a pound are the same. So now I'll know they mean the same thing and not something there completely different. I mean, most people in America, I mean, we use debit cards, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. Not, not cash anymore. So much. So it's not a really big deal. And I'm sure, sure they do. Too. I was just going to say that. I'm sure you guys probably use plastic. Yeah, plastic like most people. Watch. Not that I remember it, but I learned a lot. We're watching it again. <laughs> um, but I hope any of our American subscribers watch this and enjoy it and learn some things because yeah. that's definitely a topic um, that's not talked about here. No. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, and if you have any comments there to, to throw our way as far as anything to help us, help us be able to learn it easier. Maybe Yeah, easier way to learn it. That would be great. Yeah, we will be watching this video back, so don't worry about rehashing the whole thing. <laughs> please don't do that. Um, please like the video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, just want to take one more second to tell you guys, again, we appreciate you guys yeah. so much. With all the well wishes while I've not been feeling well, I'm yeah. still not back to 100%. I'm feeling a little bit better every day. But um, I really appreciate all of the you know the well wishes and the happy birthdays on Facebook, even on the YouTube videos. Thank you so much. It really means so much to us. We have to give a shout out here um, to a couple birthday gifts we received from you lovely people. Yeah. And by the way, cheers. Cheers. To you lovely folks. Cheers to you. Um, well, this is something that we got. We both got these mugs with our names on them. Yes. And unfortunately, we don't know who they came from. Yes. There is no nothing that came with this package. Did not see a name on there. Yeah, no, no, nothing. So I don't know who you are, mystery mug giver. Um, <laughs> mugger. Mugger. We've been but mugged. We've been mugged. <laughs> and we appreciate it and we love it. And these are awesome. So thank you. What card you got? Uh, yeah, I got this card today, actually. So it was a little bit late, but I got it and I'm excited. And this one is cool. This is fabulous at 40. It's so weird that I'm 40. <laughs> it, it doesn't seem normal. And I love the part that most of this is handwritten, which is awesome because it's so personable. You guys know I love handwritten things. Um, this says to Natasha, just to wish you a warm, happy birthday. Wish you the most fantastic eight. Happy 40th birthday. On your big birthday, and there's a little smiley face. All my love, Catherine UK. And then it goes on to say, sorry about writing. I'm holding card in the air as to be quick to get posted to you in time for your birthday. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, it was a little late, but who cares? Because yeah, this it. is awesome, and I love it. And Catherine, thank you so very much. Um, I know we have a few different Catherines um, on our YouTube page. I think this is Catherine Dunn. So I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm pretty sure it's probably Catherine Dunn. B U N N. If it is, let me know. If it's not, I apologize. Um, but it's hard to know when, but it's just a first name. So right. please always include first last name and a print and print, um, so we can make sure we think the right person. Thank you. This is so awesome. I really appreciate this. Yeah, and of course, our dear friend Mel um, from Ireland, um, she sent us some cards, which are awesome. And these are made by her. This is a happy birthday one. That's her birthday card. How cool is that? Right? And this one says, to Natasha, I hope you have a lovely birthday. 40 is not so bad from Mel. Which, again, handwritten. Love it. Thank you, Mel. And we got an anniversary card from Mel, which I can't seem to use my finger to open. So there you go. <laughs> she made, like, I think she made these cards. Please do it. It's a belated AMP anniversary card, which is so cool. Look at that. It is so neat. These are awesome. These are awesome. And this one says, again, handwritten to Natasha and Debbie, congrats on 18 years together. Wishing you many more years of happiness from Mel. And again, it says created by Mel. Pretty awesome. We also got um, this book which is pretty awesome, called The Weatherman Walking the Welsh Coast. So it's really cool. We've just gotten a little time to look through some of it. A lot of cool maps and pictures and things, um, and explains the areas, the locations. This has been really fun to look at a little bit. We haven't had a whole lot of time to look at it, but um, we're going to look at it more. But absolutely It's beautiful. really cool to see the whole coast of Wales. That's, that's really neat. I just flipped through looking at pictures. Yeah, she's marked her spot where she left off actually <laughs> reading it. There's a note. 
Thank you for the note, and it's handwritten. It says, Dear Natasha and Debbie, I hope this book will be of some help to you when visiting Wales. God be with you. From Lee Swanson, South Wales. Lee, this is awesome. And yes, this will be our book that we take with us when we get to come to Wales. So we'll thank have you. to hike the whole coast. No, we will not. <laughs> I'll do it. I will watch in the car I'm driving next to her <laughs> while she's hiking. But thank you so much. And then we also got two magnets with our names on them. You guys don't have to send this stuff with our names on them. Just know that. Like, <laughs> you can. It's cool, but you don't have to. We're just excited about anything with the flags. Absolutely. You know, which is so neat. But these are so cool, and these went straight to our refrigerator as soon as I got them. They both have our names on them, Natasha and Debbie. Pretty cool. But I have one upside down. Sorry if I did. So these are cool. I don't think anything is magnetic. Yeah, we got the uh, Cambridge Colleges book. Yeah, and that came with. And that is so cool because the architecture in there is freaking awesome. This is from Carl. Yeah, this is from Carl. Um, A-R-O. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. R-O. A-R-O. Um, that's from Carl, and we really appreciate that so much too, Carl. There's one more thing I want to show you guys that did not come from um, our YouTube family, but came from my family that I can't wait to show you. And it's from my Aunt Linda, who I adore 110% of my life. She's like my, one of my favorite people on planet Earth. And um, for my birthday, she surprised me with her interpretation of her picture, her own drawing of Freddie Mercury. Because I am the hey. world's... America's biggest queen fan, if you don't know. You are pretty much. And so she told me before she showed it to me, she like, this is my interpretation of Freddie Mercury. And she said, my interpretation of him, she said, is his more sensitive side, his more poetic side. I see him as a poet. Mm -hmm. And that's what she wanted to show. So I get to show you guys the best I can in this video because it's a tall picture, but check this out. Whoa. Look at this. It's like so awesome. I think she did such a great job. She put him in like a Shakespearean kind of poetic poet shirt, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Which is so cool. But look at the detail. I think she really did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. But I really wanted to share that with you because how cool is that? That is pretty awesome. Now she did get, a wonderful job. She really did. Now just to get a frame. And Aunt Linda, thank you so much. I know you're. she watches almost all of our videos. And uh, I just appreciate you so very much. And I love my picture. That was such a good surprise for you. Yeah, it was. These are all been great. I appreciate you guys so much. We really do. Everything and anything. It's always a joy to go to the P.O. Box and see something in there. And it's just knowing that you guys thought about us is just the coolest thing ever. Getting, you know, the mugs, the, the scarves, the cards, the books. It's so awesome. It's just so great that you guys think about us and yes. care enough to even send us anything. So Absolutely. we appreciate it um, more than we can say. We appreciate mm -hmm. you. And we can't, can't wait to, to see you again um, on Sunday. And hopefully by then I'll be back to 100%. Hopefully. <clears throat> Stop coughing in your ear and I apologize for that. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of our YouTube family. Go join us on Facebook too. And, um, you know, we'll see you again soon. Till next time. Bye guys. Bye.